Queen Elizabeth II brutally ignored Prince Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a special bond with Queen Elizabeth II. Some believe that the Queen's favorite grandson is Prince Harry. Last May during Lady Gabriella of Windsor's wedding, Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth II were spotted enjoying a joke together. Meanwhile, some sources claim that Her Majesty exerted more effort to Markle compared to Kate Middleton. However, there was a time when the Queen reportedly ignored her grandson. According to Martina Bett, a journalist for Express, Queen Elizabeth II brutally ignored Prince Harry by not befriending the Duke of Sussex on social media. In 2012, Prince Harry was interviewed by US journalist and TV personality Katie Couric. The latter asked the royal about the Queen's ability to change with the time has helped the monarchy endure. Prince Harry gave a positive response. He had not doubts that it helped. She has managed to get the family to move with the times, and I think that's incredibly important, he explained. You can't get stuck in an old age situation when everything else around you is changing. Couric asked a follow-up question if the Queen added him as a friend on Facebook. Prince Harry pulled a sad face and said, no, she has not. Bet stressed that the comments about Queen Elizabeth II behind the Facebook profile was apparently a joke. However, the monarch's director of communications disclosed that she is very supportive with the big ideas that Buckingham Palace has for her social media accounts. The monarchy has to be seen to be doing its job otherwise people ask why we need it, which goes full circle back to what our job is, which is to engage people in the purpose, relevance and value of a modern monarchy, Sally Osman, who worked at the Buckingham Palace press office for five years explained. Digital is right at the center of everything. In related news, Prince William and Middleton arrived in Balmoral on Thursday via a commercial flight. Many believe the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge did it as a PR stunt. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Markle won't be joining the royal family this weekend. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are reportedly not flying to Scotland until next month. Royal fans have been hearing the same rumors for months. Everyone has heard that Meghan Markle is a diva who loves to bark orders at the royal staff, and her romance with Prince Harry sparked a feud with William and Kate. But, it seems that there is a good reason these stories won't go away, they are often rooted in truth. And, if British royal history has taught us anything, it's that the troublemakers get sent away and Queen Elizabeth always gets what she wants. Are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moving to Africa? Instead, Harry and Meghan Markle are going to eventually call Africa their semi-permanent home because they are bringing too much stress, distress, and media attention to the palace. Just like when King Edward VIII abdicated the throne so he could marry divorced American socialite Wallace Simpson, and the family sent them away to the Bahamas, Adam says Harry and Markle will soon find themselves living thousands of miles away from London. Legendary New York Post gossip columnist Cindy Adams has just published all of the royal secrets she has become privy to thanks to solid sources, and she says that even though Harry and Meghan are treated like rock stars, they are not liked. Adams says that Queen Elizabeth is considering shipping the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to Africa, and it's not because the royal couple is big fans of the continent. Meghan Markle's drama is a huge problem. According to Adams, Members of Princess Diana's former household staff see everything, know everything, and tell everything. And, Markle is reportedly creating so much serious drama that the Africa assignment could be interesting. Meghan Markle reportedly refused to give birth to Archie Harrison at the Lindo Wing at St. Mary's Hospital, the same place that Princess Diana and Kate Middleton gave birth to their children. Markle also demanded that her son skip the traditional baby photos on the steps. It is also rumored that Queen Elizabeth gifted Harry and Markle Frogmore Cottage to keep them away from the palace. Adams also says that Prince Harry is not happy with his wife's lavish spending on designer clothes, and his longtime friends don't like her. Despite the positive PR surrounding Harry and Markle at the moment, Adams claims there are plans to banish the couple to Africa so Markle can be an extra instead of a leading lady. It should be noted that while Adams is a legend when it comes to gossip, 
the royal family has not commented or even hinted that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are moving anywhere. Not practicing what they preach. Should the family have flown commercial for their vacation instead of on a private jet? Maybe so. But, it would have caused a lot of problems for the other people on the plane. Plus, the private jet they flew on is Elton John's and it's carbon neutral. To support Prince Harry's commitment to the environment, we ensured their flight was carbon neutral, by making the appropriate contribution to carbon footprint trademark, wrote the singer on Twitter. In addition to having problems inside their family, Harry and Meghan have faced some serious backlash from fans in recent weeks because they are flying around on private jets while preaching an environmentally friendly lifestyle to everyone else. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's lavish spending and their outrageous carbon footprint are both legitimate topics for fans to discuss. British taxpayers help fund their lifestyle, and they keep posting on social media about how personal choices impact climate change. Should the family have flown commercial for their vacation instead of on a private jet? Maybe so. But, it would have caused a lot of problems for the other people on the plane. Plus, the private jet they flew on is Elton John's and it's carbon neutral. To support Prince Harry's commitment to the environment, we ensured their flight was carbon neutral, by making the appropriate contribution to carbon footprint trademark, wrote the singer on Twitter. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex can't expect privacy. When you are sixth in line to the throne and you live off of the British taxpayers, in part, you just can't expect to live a private life, says Ingrid Seward, the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine who has covered the royals for decades. The royal expert adds that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have snubbed protocol, and that is causing problems with Prince William. I would think it might bother William a little bit because he might see the way that Harry and Meghan do things as being detrimental to the business of the monarchy as a whole," said Seward. Markle sees herself as an A-lister, not a member of the royal family, say critics. And, Prince William and Kate Middleton were not happy about her joining the royal family. Harry and Markle's relationship moved forward with lightning speed, and that was cause for concern. When William and Kate didn't support Prince Harry's relationship with Meghan Markle right at the beginning, it started a rift. And, insiders claim it's just going to continue to get worse, no matter how much the family continues to smile for the cameras.